everyone, Amanda here. Thanks for joining me. If you are new, please do hit the subscribe button. So I'm here today sharing my design team project for Ephemeras Vintage Garden. Um, so for my design team and project, I chose the kit named Steampunk Love. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below to that exact kit and from there you can obviously browse the rest of the Ephemera Vintage Garden Etsy shop which is um, owned by Debbie and Parent. She does have a website as well and a YouTube. I'll put links to everything down below. So this journal is uh, ended up quite chunky and uh, the steampunk love. So I went for a steampunk but a very what I call soft steampunk. Um, so not loads of mixed media and heavy heavy metal look. I've gone for a soft feminine feel because that's what I felt fit the kit the best. So this journal is five and a quarter by eight and it's got a one and a half inch spine. We've got three signatures. Um, all the covers handmade um, with a lightweight chipboard covered with paper and then this is cardstock. I've glued on some metal embellishments and um, we've got it um, on down the spine at uh, the side of the spine, the main spine and the back and also we've got this little cluster here with a Tim Holtz butterfly and some cogs. We've got this little nameplate here, now I've left it empty so you could slide in whatever you wanted to put in there, the word journal or a person's name or whatever. Um, so I've edged all around this pretty patterned paper with some bronze um, paint and smooshed it round and about to make it look a little bit old and add a little bit of a metallic look. So let's get inside. So three signatures, 120 pages front to back. Okay, so first of all I've got this lovely um, two-tiered pocket tuck that I made out of book pages. I've just added on some fussy cut elements from the kit. Let me get that bit of glue off. Put some cut elements from the kit and these little cutter parts are from the kit as well. Okay, um, I've just added those in there and then in and between I've got things from my personal stash that I thought would fit the theme. So this is like an invoice, um, that had a steampunky kind of looking instrument on it. <laughs> Alright, so this is one of the main pages from the kit. Um, it's beautiful. Um, I have shared a video showing the kit if you want to go back and look through some of my videos. And the main focal point of this journal are the six tags that I made. Um, again, the previous video to this shares those tags in detail. Alright, I've rounded all of the corners, um, which I ne I've never done on a journal. Um, never ever done it. I prefer ripped edges, but I just thought I'd go for this kind of almost like uh, Americans call it composition book. That's the kind of th style that I went for. All right, um, so I've double printed on the back with some um, graph paper, I couldn't think of the word then. We've got a large dialer that I've cut down to fit and then here is number one of the six tags. Like I say, I've got a video which will share in depth how I made them, so I'm not going to go through everything. Um, but the main focal images there are part of the Steampunk Love kit. Alright, so behind here we've got tea dyed and hand stamped paper. Okay, I've added a lot of things on with paper clips. First of all, um, I wanted to reduce the bulk because three signatures, 120 pages is quite a lot. Um, second of all, I wanted whoever ends up with the journal to have lots of writing, lots and lots of writing space. Okay, so that so then by putting things on paper clips, they're removable um, in case the person wants to write underneath or put their own things in. All right. So each signature's also got one of these lovely paper bags, and inside this one is a little envelope, which is from the kit. It's beautiful, really pretty. Just and I just put everything on paper clips just so that um, everything doesn't fall out. You know, if I send it in the mail and things like that, it just keeps things all 
intact for whoever receives it. This journal is for sale by the way, so if you are interested in purchasing this, please do shoot me an email, that's in the description box below, come on over and find me on Facebook. Alright, so we've got plain tea dyed here, I've used the Tim Holtz um, cog stencil throughout and I've kept a kind of like a deep uh, kind of burgundy colour and this is Victorian Velvet. So this is another one of the lovely pages from the kit with this lovely image here of this steampunk owl with the floral collection and we've got some um, vintage style tape holding it on and it's got like a ripped effect it's really rather lovely and then in the background you've got like um, technical drawings or schematics of um, inventions perhaps of a steampunk kind of theme All right, and then on this page I've got a little pocket from the kit and this is a cut apart and this is one of the little tags from the kit and then these are from my collection I've just got just a general tag and then a and um, this is a receipt for a bicycle so bicycles clocks cogs it's all kind of steampunk -y. okay doily this is some vintage note paper that one of my friends sent me this is vintage dictionary paper and then this is one of the beautiful coffee uh, dyed papers that my friend sent me and I just had to use them straight away she did send me the mats as well so that I'll be able to reproduce these myself but how beautiful is that just absolutely stunning okay and so that's the centre of the first signature and I've used these um, tatty ripped letters with the steampunk finger on to um, just neaten off the ties there okay so that is number two of the six tags that's in this uh, journal. Absolutely fantastic gentleman there. Okay, the seam binding's hand done. The base is made from collage, so they're all completely hand done. And then I fussy cut the focal images from Debbie's journaling cards from the Steampunk Love Kit to make them. Okay. So there we've got some more dictionary paper, note paper, another one of the lovely envelopes from the kit there. Beautiful. Another bag, more stamping, doily, uh, the back side of the um, digital paper from Debbie, and there's another one. So there's two sheets in each signature. Okay. And there's uh, number three of the tags, and they have got my handmade scrappy flowers. There's tutorials on how to make all of these items on my channel if you have a look. Okay, this is my handmade paper bag. Alright, so the first one in the first signature is a shop bought one. Okay, that's a shop bought one. And then I reproduced the idea and made my own. And I do have videos on that. So this is a lovely little faux envelope. Now I'm not going to undo it all because <laughs> I'd have to put all of these bits and bobs back. So this is out of my, I have what I call a box full of ephemera which is pre-made ephemera that I will pick bits and bobs and put them in every journal that I use. And I just liked this one because it's got lots of little tiny bits of um, you know vintage photos in. This little clip comes undone here and then this all folds out um, like so, so you can journal on it. I also have a tutorial on that on my channel. So I just thought that looked nice there, and you can tuck down the back. And there's one, two, three, four. There's about six different pockets in there. It's fantastic little little invention. Okay, you can see the um, the cog stencil in there. I use my lovely new stenciling brushes, which are fabulous. I love them. So here we've got another little envelope and a collection of cutter parts from the kit and this is from my stash and another one of Debbie's fantastic pages. And again I've just clipped them on with paper clips so that the whoever receives it could glue them on if they want to, use them to make collage or whatever. Okay, lots of writing space. More of that beautiful hand dyed paper. And that's another one of the tags. I've forgotten what number we're on. Are we on number three? Uh, so this is the lovely lady. Centre of the signature again with these lovely alphabetical letters with the steampunk finger. I just thought that looked cute, cool. I've just created a belly band. This little bit of uh, is a scrap from cutting apart the master board that made the tags. I like to try and use everything up when I'm making a journal so that I'm not left with heaps of scraps. And in here we've got a 
a fake vintage letter. Um, I've got a video on how I faked that from a real one. We've got a tag from the kit there, a uh, beautiful, lovely aqua colour. And then this is about a machine, a piece of machinery. Um, I just thought, it, I think it's some kind of printing machinery, but I just thought it fit with the steampunk theme, and that's out of my personal collection. So there's the back side of that beautiful, beautiful printing there. Um, that's been achieved with plastic place setting mats, highly decorative ones, and they're like plastic. Um, they're beautiful. So there we go, we've got more. More of Debbie's paper there with the very subtle um, background there with the steampunk schematics. <laughs> the only thing I can think of are uh, our technical drawings, whatever. We've got some more stenciling, another envelope, another of my handmade paper bags. There's some cutter parts from the kit in there, some little tags, and a little like postage kind of note. And then here I've just made two very scrappy layered pockets. So all it basically is, is two pieces of paper from the kit, doubled up to make it thick. I've ripped them, inked them and glued them on to make two very shallow pockets that are stacked one above the other. And they're just perfect. Anybody can do that. There's no measuring or cut or, you know, you don't even need a, um, a trimmer to make these. And I've just layered in some of the cutter parts from um, Debbie's kit. Okay. We've got these lovely, wi almost whimsical looking steampunk ladies there. Okay, more stamping. We've got some, um, these are from the kit, these are little cutter parts from the kit and I've just put a collection of them together and stapled them to the page there, quite simple. And that will create a little tuck spot for you. Alright, <coughs> so here we've got more of the beautiful papers. Another one of the lovely tags that I created and I've named this one Traveller. It's fabulous, isn't it? Look at him with his monocle. Okay, lots of lovely detail in the papers at the back there that I've done myself with um, coffee dyeing and stamping. Here's another one of my handmade paper bags. I made this from Amazon packaging and then just stamped it with steampunk theme stamps. And there's some cut parts from the kit in there. More stenciling, more of this beautiful paper. And there's another little, oh there's a little pocket there, I've not put anything in that. Let me find something. Will that fit in? Another little pocket from um, the kit, which I've glued on and then I forgot to put anything in, so I'll just borrow this tag from my desk. <laughs> uh, doily, more of that vintage paper, more of the beautiful um, inking. And there's another one of my handmade tags and that one says remember together. Okay. So this is another fantastic easy make. I made this out of envelopes. There's a video on my channel somewhere. <laughs> and it was in my box of ephemera and I thought I'd put it in here. It'll look fab. So basically it's a collection of envelopes. So you've got a tuck spot there and that's glued on. I've glued it all the way on. You could actually just glue on three sides and have that as a tuck spot as well. And then if you undo the... Um, baker's twine you've got a pile of hand done these are all just made i just made them up with stamps and bits of um napkin and more stamping so the top one opens that way so you can put something in okay again stamping and napkins and and then the middle one opens that way so you can put something in Okay, and then obviously that one opens that way so you can put something in. So essentially it's like three envelopes, concertina style, but I've stuck them together in a very clever way so you can't see the flaps from each envelope on top of the other one. So if you want to see how to make that, you'll have to go and have a look for the tutorial. And then <laughs> I just um, layer over the baker's twine there to close it up. I mean, it'll stay shut. This is just for decorative purposes, really. For extra decoration is the baker's twine. You don't need it to keep it closed. Let me just... I'll, tie... I'll do that in a minute. I'll be all day. 
some more of that beautiful paper, more of the vintage. Okay, and then here I've stuck on this is um part of this is one of Debbie's um beautiful papers, but I put it in my signature upside down. So the image that's under here is upside down so I got another one of her cutter parts and stuck that on and added some washi tape to hide the fact that I'd stuck it upside down because the rest of it's fine you can still write on it <laughs> you'll even learn to double check and check again so here we've got another beautiful envelope and I love this and this is the colour that inspired the colours in the journal that lovely deep Victorian burgundy colour we've got more stenciling under there and here is the back side of my handmade steampunk paper bag okay we've got some more and then that's the final backside of one of Debbie's pages and some very faint stenciling there on the back okay so there you go that is my design team project for ephemeras vintage garden all the links are listed in the description box below and like I say if you'd like to purchase this journal just contact me directly Thanks for watching, take care and I hope you have a lovely day creating lots of lovely things. Bye for now.